guys. I'm here to do another FabFitFun mystery bundle battle with my friend Wendy Jean. And I just want to take a quick second and I really want to thank Wendy. I also want to thank Charmaine and I want to thank all of you. I, f I finally am getting the connection I've been craving from this channel. I started this channel it is going to be almost two years ago. I started during the height of quarantine. It was either the last week of April or the first week of May. You would have to scroll all the way back and I have a lot of videos uh, because at the time I was posting almost every day. I am tr I, I want to say I'm trying to get back into that but it, it's not practical because I work full time and also I'm not doing as many hauls so a lot more of my videos are going to have more editing so it's going to take more time but I always post at least multiple videos a week but anyway what I was trying to say was I'm getting the engagement I'm getting the comments and it's it's really making me so happy because that is why I started the channel I was so lonely during quarantine I was living with Joe I was out of work because I worked at a school so I didn't work for six months and Joe worked the entire time as an essential worker doing over 12 hour days. So he would leave the house at 7 a.m., want to get back till way past 7 p.m. Um, and he would come home and he would literally eat dinner and go to bed. And I don't blame him. I appreciated it because it took two months for me to get my unemployment. He pulled on his bootstraps and he did it every single day risking himself. And he helped a lot during those two months when I didn't get my unemployment. Um, but it, you know, so I was never angry with him, but it was very, very lonely, extremely lonely. So, um, and this has helped so much, even though I wasn't getting that much engagement, you know, for the first like year, even like year and a half, it felt good just to turn on the camera and talk to somebody. But now I'm like literally so, so happy. Like just, I feel like I'm making so many connections and friends, but anyway, I know that's not what you guys are here for. I just really want to take that minute to say, thank you. You are here for the mystery bundle battle with Wendy Jean. It is going to include a giveaway. We will talk all about that at the end, but let's just get right into the bundle. It is $29 and it's always supposed to have three to four items to the value of over a hundred dollars this is a lot of a lot of people love fat fit fun honestly just for this because it's uh it's just like it's really cool concept i mean people love mystery bags and mystery boxes and you're always just curious what you're gonna get and i'm not gonna lie i'm already like super pumped about the first item that i see and it is i don't know how you guys are gonna feel about it but it is sticker and chill personal spaces i hope this isn't one i have Oh man, I think it is one I have, but that's okay because I can still gift it to a friend. But the reason I love it is because I already own it. I don't, I might own this exact one. Either way, I own at least two or three of these. I love stuff like this. I feel like if you're a crafter, this is going to speak to your soul. I tell you guys all the time, uh, especially during quarantine, I was so sick of Netflix. Uh, that's why I got into YouTube. But even then it's like, you know, sometimes you just get so sick of staring at a screen. I got into doing journaling i was doing bullet journaling for like that whole year of 2020 i got out of it but i do want to get back into it i was doing crafting scrapbooking i was even doing word searches like the simplest thing and it brought me so much joy and that's basically what this is it's just something that brings me joy but basically and i have actually seen this in store at staples i have i saw it first through fabfitfun bought some in edit sales they're regularly like 24 dollars, i think in the edit sales they were like 11 or 12 so they were like half off and then one day i went to staples and they were on clearance and i said oh my god i didn't even know they sold these in stores and i got more and basically there is a scene so let me show it to you on one of the pages so for perfect example right here the scene is a bathtub and you guys you're gonna see there is already some stickers on it because it came undone from this page but basically you build your own scene so you would pick whatever pictures you want from this and put it onto here and these are reusable stickers they will come on and off so you can do this as many times as you please so there's this cute little ledge here for the bathtub i could put you know like a soap a candle a bottle of wine and then there's a cute shelf up here so you can put like the more decor items like the pictures and this might not be everyone's cup of tea but i love this i don't remember having the bathtub so maybe i don't have this one i'm gonna have to go through my collection if i don't have one that's even better because it's one i already don't have but i am super duper excited to receive this i love getting i know most people love the skincare and the makeup but i honestly love things like this i love lifestyle items and home items but it looks like i do have four items so this was item number one you guys tell me how you would feel about getting that item number two we have a small little tube here and it says 
Botanical Toner refreshes, balances, and soothes. It's PETA approved, Leaping Bunny certified, all skin types use AM and PM. So it's, it's vegan, clean, and natural. And it says made in the USA with ingredients sourced from all around the world. And it has adaptogens, antioxidants, and basically it's a gentle toner infused with our active botanical detoxifying complex of concentrated plant and herb extracts, removes last traces of makeup and impurities, soothes and hydrates, skin looks smoothed and pores tight into it daily use, leaves skin refreshed, balanced, and prepped for serum pH balance. And it literally just shake well, soak on a cotton pad and wipe over face and neck after cleansing use throughout the day to refresh and skin if you have guys when i used to get a lot of skincare because i don't get as much skincare anymore uh, but i used to say all the time toner is actually one of my favorite items my skin just feels so clean after a toner because after you cleanse sometimes you still have that residue and when you do this it just feels so squeaky clean and i love that feeling sometimes i almost like hate putting on moisturizer afterwards or serums but i know it's beneficial for my skin and i do have drier skin so the moisturizer feels good but i don't know i just feel so squeaky clean after a toner i will say i've never seen a toner this small it almost makes me wonder if it's a sample size because i you know usually toners come in bigger bottles and I am curious to check this out. It is a pump. I'm used to toners being more liquidy. So I'm curious. Oh, okay. It is a liquid. Because that's pouring right down my hand. I thought with it being the pump, it might be a different consistency. I'm used to, I'm sure you guys know if you have toners, like just, it's usually just a little hole on top that you put into a cotton pad. But I will 100% use this. I am just curious about the saw, about because it's so small. It's only half an ounce. So I might just save this because I might go on a trip this summer instead of packing my big toner. Um, I might Google this afterwards. But I do like that it's uh, Leaping Bunny certified, that it's all clean, it's all natural. So that's always good. So that is my second product. Tell me how you guys would feel about that. My third one, it looks like it's another skincare. But it's something I don't have. It's something different. Padding Splash Mask. Do you guys see that? It says it's a soothing and healing green tea for oil controlling and pore clarifying, exfoliating, deep cleansing, moisturizing, and balancing. I'm just wondering what they mean by padding splash mask. Let me see if it says it can be used after cleansing and diluted with water. It contains concentrated blend of lactic acid and green tea extracts that calm the stressed and irritated skin with poor clarifying. It provides exfoliating, deep cleansing, moisturizing, pH balancing effects at once through the high content of natural lactic acid. It may cause aggregation at low temp, keep at room temp. So after cleansing, okay, so this is what it is. You fill the sink or bowl of water 23 ounces you pour one cap of the padding splash mask into the sink or bowl and you splash and pat liquid onto face for 15 seconds so like because you think mask you think you know it's like either a face mask where it's like you know a piece of paper with serum that you sit on your face or you think like a clay mask where you just like you know put the product on and keep it there but this is very very different um definitely curious to check it out so this is what it looks like right here. Very pretty bottle. Wow. Um, yeah, made in Korea. It's a K-Beauty product because in the back, all it is is a bunch of Chinese lettering. And they do say K-Beauty products are really, really good. But I will say, I don't know how often I'm going to use it because I don't like, I don't have a stopper in my sink. I don't have a working stopper. So it's like I would have to bring a bowl in there. That just seems like it's a lot of work. It's going to get me really messy. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of that. I'm really curious to see your opinion. Now let's see the fourth one. It is wrapped up to keep it safe. So I'm going to guess it's a glass product or definitely something liquidy. It's in its own bag. And then it even has bubble wrap around that. So let's open this up and see what it is. So far, my favorite thing is the sticker and chill. I will 100% enjoy doing that. Okay, so it is glass, pure face oil cleanse, formula number 13, two ounces, 100% organic, vegan, artisanal product. 
and oh it is a very very clean product because the ingredients list is all stuff i can read and it's very small witch hazel castor oil avocado oil lavender essential oil and lemongrass oil and it just says shake well before use to mix the oil and witch hazel pump two or three pumps of the number 13 so that is the name of it because it just said formula number 13 so i was curious into clean hands and apply evenly over a dry face massage your skin to help dissolve impurities and makeup rinse thoroughly with warm water and pack dry with a towel and it's by Basser Beauty, which I have heard of that brand before. And I love oil cleansers. I do a double cleanse whenever I wear makeup. So this will definitely, definitely be used. I will include this on my little um, shelf in my bathroom. Uh, I actually just, did I? No, it was on my Instagram, not on YouTube. I did a shower routine on YouTube, an ASMR one, where you can just hear the water running. And I showed you what products I use in the bath. But if you go to my Instagram, I did a reel and I did bath and skin and I showed you guys the really cool shelves. So I love just displaying items on there and it's not out of sight, out of mind. I see it and I use it. So it, it is something I will use along with the toner. I will eventually use this. I just don't think it's going to be a product I reach for too often. And then I love the sticker and chill. So I did get three skincare products, which some people would love because they love skincare, to be honest. Y'all, this is still my favorite item. I'm still happy with the bundle because it's stuff I will use. And this, like, won it for me right away, the first thing. I love stuff like this. Like, even in the back, it says stickers with benefits. Helps you relax, unwind, and decompress. No commitment. Your stickers are repositionable. It's cheaper than therapy. Funny. Freedom sticker anytime, anywhere, and convenient. You can do it on a plane, at home, at work, at the park, or in a car. Um... I love like adult coloring. I love, love, love stuff like that. So I am honestly really happy with this. So you guys tell me what would be your favorite item out of this bundle, your least favorite item. And you are going to tell us who you think the winner is. So I will be sharing Wendy's video down below. And you're going to watch both of ours. And you can say, you know, Taylor Marie, you are the winner. Or Wendy Jean, you are the winner. That does not enter you into the giveaway. That is just if you want to participate and say who the winner is. Because we will be doing $10 for the winner. So, so far, my and Wendy have done two of these. She won the first one. I won the second one. And... I had given her $10 for the first time. She went to Dollar Tree and she did a haul. I received my $10. I have not done my haul yet. It has been crazy over here. So I will be going to Dollar Tree soon because I'm filming this before Easter. So I do have to buy some items for Easter baskets. But this will not be posted until April 30th. Me and Wendy will post our videos. We are going to keep it open for two weeks. So it will be open till May 14th. So that gives you guys time to watch and comment. And we will announce the winner on 5 15 may 15th uh you have to be subscribed to both of us i will put more details down below in the description box so definitely check that out but we are going to use a specific word for the comment picker so if you don't want to participate in the giveaway you feel oh i have plenty of things i don't need more things or if you're outside the u.s because this is within only within the u.s you're going to say who the winner is and we enjoy you watching our content if you do want to enter the giveaway we are going to do the same one as last time so it's going to be FFF, which is just a little abbreviation for Fab Fit Fun. So if you want to enter the giveaway, use FFF. Again, be subscribed to both of us. Like I said, all the details will be down below. I don't want to keep repeating myself. That is it for this video. Um, just tell me who you think the winner was. If you want to go into more details, like I, I, you know, what was your favorite product? What was your least favorite product? I would really love to know because it is so across the board. There are some people who love skincare. Some people like me that don't get as excited for skincare and love more like creative items like this. Like this literally speaks to my soul, like literally. Um, and if it is one I have already, I know a friend who would love something like this. So that's totally okay. But that's it for this video. Like I said, check out that description box and be safe guys.